hello and welcome back to the channel today um, in today's video I'm currently back in Liverpool it's great to be back into a big city like this um, I think it's probably maybe eight or nine months since I've been into the city and I'm currently um, at the uh, Metropolitan Cathedral in Liverpool or Metropolitan Church of Christ the King as it's, um, it's a given its form of title but it's um, it's quite a it's quite a famous part of the Liverpool skyline and it's a, it's a wonderfully odd building and that's what I love about it. It's, it's, it's not, it's not a, a traditional square building as you would normally get um, these days with everything but metal and glass. It's a, it's a very quirky and very odd building and it makes great um, photographer. Uh, there's loads of shapes and it's all different shapes and sizes. It's great. Uh, there's all different edges. It makes some wonderful um, imagery. I think it's going to be a bit of a black and white day because it's very very overcast today and completely utterly black, blank, a white blanket of cloud which if you was out doing the landscapes I don't think I think that might be a bit of a, a bit of an issue but today because I'm doing stuff that's you know down low or up close uh, I don't think the sky is going to really make much of a difference so what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to crack the camera out and um, we'll go and take some photographs One of the other reasons I wanted to come up today is I wanted to test um, this new my new camera that I've bought and as you'll probably guess from uh, the, the videos that I've made previously it's uh, an Olympus and basically it's an Olympus EM10 Mark III and my very first Olympus digital camera, uh, micro for first camera was actually an Olympus EM10 Mark II um, which I bought as a secondary camera to my Canon 80D at the time and I, I bought that as a, as a secondary camera just to carry around with me and when I decided to, to go full into my Core 4 Thirds and, and cash all my equipment in I, I also cashed my um, EM10 Mark II in and bought an EM1 Mark, uh, Mark II EM1 and one of the regrets that I had with that when I did that was that um, I love my EM1 but it's, it's, it's quite heavy and quite conspicuous, it's, it's not necessarily heavy but it's, um, it's quite a big camera to be carrying around an urban environment so I wanted something a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter and the EM10 Mark cameras are perfect for this one of the great things about these types of small cameras is that they're very very good for street photography because they're very inconspicuous and um, literally people don't look at you as though you're some sort of professional so you can sort of get away with a little bit more than you would normally do um, and you have had a big HD and sometimes people look at me with my EM1 you know, and think I'm a professional because it has an L bracket on and you know it has various different things on it that make it look a bit more professional and it has quite a bigger lens on it so this I bought this EM1 um, as a, a as a um, you know a lockdown purchase and I bought it as a secondary camera to take out with me for um, doing this type of shooting so doing street photography and urban photography and um, I'm really really happy with it um, it's a it, you know it's not the the best it doesn't take the best pics in the world it's only 16 megapixels it's not the best it's not got the best dynamic range but basically for, for the situation that I want to put it in it's an absolutely perfect camera it takes great street photography photos you know it adds a little bit of grain and a little bit of grit and that's I think what you need as a street photographer so I wanted to come out and give this a test
Yes, so um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little wander around um, the Metropolitan Cathedral in Liverpool. Um, I definitely recommend if you're into your architecture and your, uh, you, know, you know, your modern, your modern um, architecture and things like this, definitely come and give this place a visit. It's a, it's a very quirky place and it's a great place to do some architect, architectural photography. So um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Um, if you like what you see then please give me a thumbs up below and I'd love it if you could subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you again next time.